Mike Winger versus Benny Hinn. This has been a battle ever since Winger released his, well, let's just say blockbuster documentary exposing Benny Hinn as a false prophet back in early April. There has been a lot with this story, and now we have an update, and it's very good news. If you are somebody who appreciates the work of Mike Winger, we're going to get into all of the details in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you, reminding you, as always, we walk by faith, not by sight. For someone like me, that's kind of my only option. Speaking of that, for those interested, you want to know my story. How did I go blind? How do I operate my entire ministry without being able to see? I made a video that explains it all. You'll find a link to that in the description section of all my videos. Also, if God puts it on your heart to do so, consider making a generous donation to support my ministry. A few different ways you could do that. One, hit the super thanks button on the YT video here to make a contribution that way. Or join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news. Link in the description. Joining Patreon, you get all the videos before they hit the main YT platform. You get some exclusive links to these topics that we discuss that I only provide on Patreon. Plus, while you're there, comment censorship free. Send me DMs if you like. It's all there for you. Patreon.com. Slash not by sight news. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So Mike Winger released a documentary exposing Benny Hinn as a false prophet. This was back in early April. Now this thing is like four hours long. And Winger had initially stated that the plan wasn't to make it that long. It wasn't like he sat there and said, you know, I just got to make this thing super long. Just, you know, just because. That's not what it was. As he started to do more research into him, just all this information came out and he says it's just the way that it was put together. It just, it had to be that long. There were so many examples of him as a false prophet and really what the documentary focuses on, which by the way, it has been praised by so many people within Christian circles. It exposes him uh, not just as a, a false prophet, but a false teacher, a false healer, uh, his deceptive fundraising tactics that he does, which some of those he had, you know, repented for years ago, but he's now since gone back to those. And even I've talked about Benny Hinn over the years, this guy as, you know, as a fake faith healer. Look, the guy's been on, on TBN for, you know, decades and decades, you know, the fake miracle healing services and, and all of that. And he just continues to go back to his old ways. You know, remember a few years ago too, he supposedly renounced the prosperity gospel. And then he went right back into it again. Just if, if nothing ever changed, it was just like, yeah, just another day at the office for Benny Hinn. Well, when Mike Winger originally dropped that documentary, it wasn't long after it came out that he got hit with a copyright uh, by, by YouTube. Now this was because he used uh, a couple of clips from Jesus image church, which of course, uh, Benny Hinn's son-in-law is the pastor of that church. But Jesus image had stated that you know, that was a copyright that was just automatically generated by YouTube. It wasn't anything that, you know, they had, you know, specifically, uh, you know, read reported about him. Uh, that eventually got turned around and that claim got taken away uh, and Mike Winger was going to be okay. You know, it was, it was fair use. However, Benny Hinn Ministries uh, then filed a copyright claim of their own against Mike Winger talking about the fact that he was just, you know, using all of these clips of Benny Hinn services throughout the entire documentary. You know, this is our content. This should be taken down. All of that. And once they had sent that down to YouTube, YouTube replied back to them. And surprisingly, they actually stuck up for Mike Winger. Look, Winger hasn't always won these copyright claim, you know, battles before. He's done some on, on Joel Osteen before. And, you know, he was denied on some of those. Uh, but this one here, uh, Mike Winger won, and Benny Hinn Ministries even tried to appeal this after YouTube came back at them and said that there was nothing that Mike Winger did wrong. Everything was fair use. They appealed it, and they got denied again a second time. And Mike Winger spoke about this, and he said, you know, I'm, I'm shocked. He honestly didn't think that, you know, this was going to stick. Uh, but he was honestly shocked about this, that YT was on his side here and is allowing the documentary to stay up in full. Uh, on his YouTube page, which by the way, if you have not seen the documentary, I will put a link to it for you here in the description of this video uh, and you can watch it. Again, it's very well done. Now, Mike Winger did say that he got the email from YouTube about uh, the exact uh, words that the Benny Hinn Ministries had wrote here 
uh, in their appeal. And I will also have all of that for you here in the description as well. Uh, Winger did redact the name of the individual representing Benny Hinn Ministries. Uh, just, you know, he just didn't want to put that out there. Uh, but it has their entire message that they sent to YouTube that was, you know, saying that Winger was wrong. This whole video should come down. Well, look, let's really be honest here. This was never about the clips that Winger used from Benny Hinn sermons and all of that. It was never about that. It's about the fact that they don't want Benny Hinn being exposed. And the fact that Mike Winger did such an amazing job doing this, that's why they tried, you know, to you know hit him with this copyright claim to get this thing taken down. Look, the last thing that a false teacher wants is to be, you know, you know, put out there like this and fully exposed. And I know people, I've been doing it, so many others too have been exposing Benny Hinn for just for decades now. But what you have to understand is that in this current time frame that we're in right now, these false prophets are rising up more than ever before. Has has Hinn been one for a long time? He he has. But what we're seeing now is that these wolves are starting to fight back even more because they know that people are starting to wake up to who they are and they are desperate. They are desperate to hold on to everything that they have, their false phony ministries, everything that they've had now for decades. People are calling them out on it. Look, Jesus talked about this. There were to be false Christs and false prophets that would rise in the last days. And what would they do? They would deceive many. And ladies and gentlemen, that word many means millions and millions. So of course, Hinn was going to do everything that he could to try and get this documentary taken down. And as of right now, it's not going to work. Now, Mike Winger also said this. He said he's learned a lot about fair use over the past couple of years, especially since 2021 when he had one again that got taken down, you know, about Joel Osteen. But now he knows a lot more about this. And he says if Benny Hinn Ministries tries to, you know, sue him and take him to court, he says, I have a lawyer that's already, you know, on standby and I will, he said, I will fight this in court. And he said, and I will win if they want to take me there. Uh, so whether or not that happens or not, we'll see. But you know what? Good for Winger for calling this out, for exposing Benny Hinn. Uh, and a lot of times, look, these televangelists, they have a lot of power, you know, and they, they have a lot of resources and all of that. And so, you know, it's not all the time that, you know, guys like Mike Winger get a win in this. But you know what? I'm glad that he did. Uh, and you know what? And Benny Hinn, look, people are calling for him to repent. You know, even uh, Michael Brown was calling for him. He even commented on the documentary and actually applauded it himself and said that if, if nothing else, Hinn needs to you know, repent of these you know, deceptive fundraising uh, practices that he has in place here. Uh, so again, I'm going to have all of those links for you here in the description. I welcome your thoughts. What, do, what are your thoughts on Mike Winger, the documentary? Have you watched it? What do you think about Benny Hinn? Is he really just going scorched earth here, you know, in these last days, trying to, again, uh, deceive and manipulate as many people as possible. I certainly think so. But again, I want to hear from you. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, let's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. This is an altar call. I've been doing this on my videos since 2016, no matter what it is that I'm discussing here in the church. And yeah, exposing the false prophets. We always want to give people the opportunity to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. So for anybody watching now, if you're someone that has not yet accepted Christ into your life, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer that you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. That means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ, and I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget, the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as 5 bucks a month, patreon.com slash notbysightnews, link in the description, or just hit the super thanks button on the YT video here to make a contribution that way. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.